Hello everyone. Let's continue our discussion on threshold voltage. Let us take a moment out to revise what we did in the last couple of lectures. So what we did was we introduced you to an NMOS structure. It had got heavily heavily doped N plus source, heavily doped N plus drain and it had got four terminals source, drain, gate and the body terminal and it was built on a P-type substrate. Also, also we had got some isolation region just to isolate this particular MOSFET from its adjacent MOSFET and the gate was referred to as polysilicon or metal gate and this was the gate oxide just just to this led to a formation of of a parallel plate capacitor next what we did was we were trying to learn the threshold voltage and we said that threshold voltage is nothing nothing but the voltage at which your device turns on let's try to prove that in this video and so so initially what we did we we tied the source drain and the body terminal to ground and applied a positive potential to the gate terminal to see what happens and what happened was in this, this particular plate of the capacitor turns positively charged and it it tends to it tends to behave like a magnet it tries to repel all the all the holes from the p-type substrate which is the which is its majority carriers and when you see when you see its majority when you see the p-type substrate when you see this area getting depleted of its majority carriers this particular this particular junction behaves like a classic pn junction diode so we saw all this in the last videos so we'll try to continue we'll start continuing from that particular point where we have where we have applied a positive gate voltage over here and see what happens so in this one what we'll be doing is we'll be increasing the positive gate voltage we'll we'll be increasing the gate voltage over here so this is what we call it as a depletion region which is which is behaving very similar to a pn junction diode so pn junction diode also when you apply uh, when you keep it at reverse bias you see the p type area gets depleted of its majority car carriers which is holes and the n type area gets depleted of its majority carriers which is electrons so similar thing is happening over here this area of the p type whose majority carriers is uh, is is holds it is this area is getting depleted of its majority carriers so that's what is get, is happening over here so now what we'll do is we'll apply we'll increase the gate voltage so once we increase the gate voltage let's shift let's shift this layer underneath the gate so that we have some room for uh, to show the behavior okay so in this case what will happen now when you when you apply the gate voltage the most obvious thing that will happen is it will try to repel more and more holes from this area and and basically make this area depleted of its majority carriers that's what will that's what will happen that's the most obvious thing that will happen over here now so let's see what happens so if you try to observe this area see how the how, how this particular area gets depleted of its majority carriers and as and when the holes are getting repelled from this area it leaves behind negatively charged ions so let's see let's see how it happens so you increase the voltage you see an increase in the depletion area you again increase the voltage you see an increase in the depletion region width you increase the voltage more more and more holes are getting repelled and you see one more layer of the negative charged ions over here finally there is small area on the p type substrate which is now completely which converts itself to an n type material the voltage at which this particular thing happens it's referred to as threshold voltage this phenomena this phenomena of a semiconductor surface inverting into an n type material this phenomena is referred referred to as strong inversion and the voltage this particular voltage at which this phenomena happens that particular voltage is referred to as threshold voltage so we started our discussion saying that the threshold voltage is the voltage at which your device turns on so this is the moment at which your device turns on you have a channel available now you have a small pretty good channel available over here now just you apply potentials at the drain and the source source terminals and then this drain will attract uh, will attract electrons from this area and eventually you see a flow of current let's not get into that at this point of time because we have separate slides on them how the current actually flows but but the point at which it provides a platform it gets a channel over here that that particular moment is referred to as threshold voltage now so now, now if you see the channel over here is completely n type hence the name is called as n channel mosfet transistors so it's called as n channel so it, you have an n channel and MOS is metal oxide semiconductor transistor. So that that's the that's where the name comes from. So conversely, if you look into a P MOS thing, let let's try to deviate from this one and let's look into what will hap what might happen in P MOS. So in P MOS, you have an N-type substrate over here. This will be P plus. This will be P plus, 
and and you you have to apply a negative voltage over here and negative voltage will repel all the electrons from that area and that all basically in, in conversely it will attract all the holes from the n type substrate and and form a channel of, of and, and form a channel of all the p type materials over here basically p type positively charged carriers over here so in the in the in the case of p mos the, the all these negative charged particles will be replaced by positively charged holes and you see a channel getting you see a p channel forming from the p plus from the p plus source and p plus strain so that's where the name comes from p mos p mos basically p channel mosfet okay so so uh, so uh, uh, reason for bringing the p mos topic over here is it will make things a bit clear so that because we are already in the flow of uh, channel formation so so the names come from basically what kind of channel it is if it's an n if this is an n channel it will be called it will be called as n channel mosfet if it's a p channel it will be called as p channel mosfet second thing what the observation is if you see a p, if if you see uh, for an n mos it's p substrate for a p mos which will uh, let's say if it sits over here it will be it will be called as n type substrate okay so let's continue let's see now what now what next so now if you see this area is completely depleted of its majority carriers which is holes so now there is no more holes present in this area so now what can happen when if we increase if we tend to increase the gate voltage because this is positively charged and either it has to repel all its like charges or it has to attract more and more negatively charged negatively charged particles so repel a repulsion of all the all the all the holes has already been done and this there are no more holes that is present in this depletion region area so what 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 is the next thing that can happen it will attract more and more electrons towards in, under the channel so further when we increase the gate voltage it will try to attract more and more electrons under uh, underneath the gate but the question again comes that where will these electrons come from so now the so, so to answer that if you see this heavily doped n plus areas over here so this is this is this will now become the source of your supply so what will what is the gate voltage will do is when you when this particular plate becomes positively charged it will try to attract more and more negatively charged particles from this n plus area and see how it does that so if you increase the gate voltage this layer of negatively charged negatively charged particles will go and sit underneath the gate it's like this so if you see there will be no change in the depletion layer width because it's already depleted of its majority carriers and now what you have is only the n plus n plus uh, uh, electrons that will get that, that will get and sit underneath this particular gate so this is what this is what exactly happens if you see this channel area how this channel area gets increased and eventually there will be a continuous n channel formation between n between the source and the drain so you had the n channel at this point itself that is that is the phenomena of strong inversion you had that n channel even eventually if you if you try to increase the voltage increase the gate voltage you see a, a, a channel which is even more thicker than the previous one so what can we conclude over here so we can conclude that the conductivity can be modulated by the gate voltage lower the gate voltage lower the channel width you have low current higher the gate voltage you have higher you have higher area you have higher width of the channel and you see more conductivity over here so that's how you can modulate the modulate the modulate the conductivity using the gate voltage so that's the first learning that we saw over here so what we'll do is since i'm running out of time in the next video we'll try to see what happens to the gate voltage or what happens to the n channel formation at the presence of body terminal so we'll be comparing two or three scenarios over here so this scenario we saw with the body terminal is grounded and only the gate voltage now what we'll do is we'll apply some potential between the body between the body and the source and see what happens so let's try to and let's see how what is the impact on threshold voltage so let's try to do all this in the next video thank you